Now, where does God come in all this? Every time I choose a form of denial, I am also denying myself. So am I loving my own soul? No. Every time I choose to do one of these things, I'm not loving my own soul. And I'm also setting up a state where I can no longer receive love from God. Because I'm denying my emotion. And when you deny your emotion, God's emotion cannot flow to you. Right? So understand that if I love myself, I will choose to deal with my emotions. Right? And when I really love myself will be when I'm dealing with them 24 by 7. And the only time that's going to happen is when I'm at one with God. And by that stage, all of them are going to be blissful. <laughs> and up until that time, you'll switch in and out at times. Because you'll get to an emotion that's really hard, you'll get into anger, or you'll get into something else, and you, you know, you'll go through all of that, then you'll undo all that, get connected with what's underneath, and then you'll feel that emotion, and then you'll be back feeling some divine love, mm -hmm. some more love flowing through to you. And then another emotion will come up, and you'll, it'll ebb and flow until you're at one with God. And did many of you watch on the C, on the DVD um, Lucinda, uh, Natalie channeling, channeling Lucinda? Yes. Yeah. Remember what she said? She said she was in the sixth sphere on the natural love path. She was in her mind. She had to go back to the third sphere and tune into her real emotions. She called it tuning into her real self because she she'd learned to tune out of her real self using her intellect. And what she had to do was come back and tune into her real self. Now, when she started doing that, she started learning a lot of things about herself that were hard to accept. Right? And she accepted them because she was humble and just felt every one of those emotions pass through her. And that's what you will need to do when you're on the divine path. But you won't do it 100% of the time until you're at one with God.